The last video blog that I've just finished shooting here was on uh, some of the adolescent dog problems or just changing your perspective on what's going through when your dog going through adolescence. The other end of that is when your dog starts getting a little bit older. Um, I worked with a really, really nice English Shepherd uh, the other day and he is, we think, about eight years old. And in the last few months, he's just started to become, and some of his behaviour has started to change. Um, he's a little bit uh, less, and a boy, he's a little bit less comfortable with other dogs in his space. Um, and prefers his own company. Okay, so he prefers his company. Him and his mum going out in the park and kind of doing their own thing. He slowed down, starts to potter about. He's still playful, but less playful than he was a couple of years ago. And uh, these changes have occurred as he's maturing. That's normal. So we think about us. So an eight-year-old dog, in human terms, and I know it's not just a, it's not a straight lift, but an eight-year-old dog, say that he lives until he's 16, he's effectively in his 40s, okay? Think of us when we go in our 40s, we're generally less play playful, we generally like the people that we like, and a lot of time we don't want to meet a lot of new people, we like what we like because we've set settled into that and our needs change. So if your eight-year-old dog at the, at the park is starting to get a little bit, um, you're fine, son. Um, just slightly irritable with some younger dogs coming in. And I know it's not a straight lift and I'm not anthropomorphizing, that a boy. Um, but think of how tolerant we are of teenagers, uh, teenage behavior. Um, you know, my, my son's 15 and my daughter's eight, uh, 17. And if they're out with their pals and the nonsense that they talk, now they think it's brilliant, it's great chat and it's wonderful for them, but it's maybe that kind of banal chat isn't something that we particularly want to be involved in and that's just to give you some sort of comparison between uh, us and what goes on with an older dog uh, and then as they get older again their needs will change again they'll slow down again and they maybe want to be slower again and just amble around the place and you know go for sniffs and stuff like that and they'll become less playful so these are again just things to think about when your dog starts getting older. It's natural, it's normal, and we need to adapt in order to accommodate their needs. Uh, questions or comments, uh, as usual guys, uh, stick them in the field below and uh, your feedback's always appreciated. Thank you. Oh boy.